All right, this is for David Lee. Um, he wanted to some critique and comment on it. Um, I think the drawing side of your your, your stuff here is is pretty decent. I'm, I'm okay with the drawing itself. A little bit of anime, but you know we'll deal with it. Um, but the thing that I have the most issue is is with your lighting. Now, looking at this, um, you know you've, you you've got lighting from a lot of different sources. Like if you look at it. You've got a rim lighting from over on the side here. Um, you know, you see this lighting. You've got a front lighting coming from here and here. Um, there's no lighting in the hair. There's no. There's some lighting up here that's coming from the side. And so I look at all of this stuff, and and I'm I, I'm confused at what dimension you want your lighting. So looking at this, what I would do. Is a couple different things. Uh, first is uh, you would have let's let's take and, and start. Uh, and I'm going to use a dodge tool here. Um, the first thing I would do is is you've got kind of a monotone uh, kind of painting. Um, nothing's really saturated. Nothing's really uh, nothing really stands out and pops out. Um, if you go to your histogram. And so we get our histogram here. You can you can kind of see that it's 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 kind of all over the place as far as like your colors and stuff. It's pretty average, pretty linear, and there's no real lights and darks. So what I would tell you to do is from a from a standpoint of lights and darks is I would add a little bit more to it. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add a color balance I think here, and we're going to go in the shadows. And we're going to add a little bit of uh, blue, not super blue, but we're going to add a little bit of blue to the shadows. We're going to add a little bit of blue to the midtones, maybe even a little bit of cyan. And then the highlights, let's add some more yellow and stuff like that. That's going to just pop a little bit as far as contrast and stuff goes. So I'm going to merge that down. And then what I'm going to do is, so already you can see there's a, a huge difference going on. Then what I'm going to do is with the dodge tool is start pushing out some of this, some of the armor. So if you want that side light, if you want that front um, highlight, you want to get some of that light to pop out. And I'm just really roughly, really quickly kind of popping in. this and so by by doing that it's going to give me a little bit more pieces here and so you can see and I'm not gonna go super dark in here but let's go brush and kind of break out some of that and then we can add in with this lighting kind of form out that face a little bit more and you can see how by doing this by adding that little bit of lighting the dark blues and things like that that's going to really pop out that face and give it a little bit more form um, and so we can even add some of that light up here um, and, and that's going to pop out a little bit too, and we add some up there. Um, and then what we can do is, I'm going to actually go back in, and the easiest way to do it would be the histogram. Go down here, and we're going to go back to the original version here. But what I'm going to do is, oops, not that. What I'm going to do is, and do that. Go back and to here, and we'll do the history brush. All right, and I'm gonna oops, bring up. Why is that not not bringing back what I want? Okay, so it's not bringing back what I want. So what I'm gonna do is actually just go in with the eraser a little bit, and brighten up your highlights here um, and that's going to make the eyes pop a little bit more and then 
we're going to get rid of some of these tonal values here. We're going to get rid of those because they're really not selling any real light source. I'm, I'm getting us all from kind of this other otherworldly light source. And so by painting those out and dimming those down, I'm defining the light source a little bit more. So here I would go in and add in like stuff like this and probably even some some really really bright sources like that okay and that's going to give me kind of a, a better idea of where that light source is coming from and then from there and and you can see it's it's doing subtle things and I'm, I'm just kind of roughing this out but as as you can see from there I've got the blue coal shadows I've got the highlights of this you know um, gem here and I'm just going to grab some highlights like that so this upper light is going to cast some some nice shadows here and you can add in some lights like that underneath the hair and that'll add in a little bit of more shadows across that way and then if you want you can add some if you want that reflectivity you can add some I would almost add like some darker mm -hmm. colors in here something like this and so by doing so that gives you kind of that elemental idea now of of basically light and dark now the other thing you want to do is and I'm just going to uh, the easiest way to do this is just something like this okay so I'm gonna grab this and I'm gonna grab this here and so by taking this background I can do some adjustments on the background and I'm gonna just do a hue saturation and I'm gonna lower that saturation and do you see how by lowering that saturation value she pops out a lot more um, and I can even saturate it more blue and it gives it more of a, a mood tone feel type of, type of thing to it um, so that's the type of thing that I would do to adjust it I think you've got your anatomy is okay um, beyond the anatom uh, anime proportions. Um, and I, I think everything overall is, is pretty well done. Let's add just some brights to this. A little bit of bright to this here. That's going to pop the lip out a little bit. Um, maybe not so bright. But, but you get the, the idea of by changing from this value tone to adding this and then unifying the light and shadows adds a little bit more emphasis on and unity on the uh, scene itself and then I would probably go in here and we can you know darken some of this stuff here like so maybe even kind of darken like so like that so that adds all different all different aspects of what you're trying to accomplish um, just by doing some ch color changes and unifying those shadows. All right, I hope that helps.